Hello and welcome to this session. In this session I'm going to show you how to download beta for a stock and how to use the override function in Excel to change how beta is calculated. For example on Bloomberg in the if you type in your company you have you type in the function beta it will give you the historical beta for stock now Bloomberg's methodology, they tend to use two years worth of data and that is a weekly frequency and they always compare the stock or equity with the indices that it's trading on, traded on. Now on this function you can customise that here. However, if you've got an international diverse portfolio and you want to get all your stocks use the beta against a benchmark that is not the benchmark that, com that company's traded on then we can do this in Excel. So first of all we need to use the FLDS function, the data field finder. And this will give you all the information you need to know. So you've got your company selected, in this case Lloyds. Here I'm just going to type in beta. And you're given a good range of different beta calculations that Excel and, Blo uh, and Bloomberg have. So for this, as you can see, there's a, there is a good range of different betas. Uh, it's up to you to choose one. To get more information, you just click on it. So I'm going to use the raw beta, beta as the example. And click on it, it'll tell you its calculation and it'll tell you what it uses, say go two years of weekly data. So for that you can just copy it and then paste it into the formula to Excel. Now here I've got a list of stocks which are banking stocks from around the world and as you can see they're on different indices therefore if I was to get the raw beta equal BDP is the formula needed. Pick the company, pick the mnemonic, I'll lock that cell, press enter, it'll give me the beta for Lloyd's using two year week two year weekly data against the FTSE 100. Drop that down, I'll do the same for companies where it's available. So if you're, for example, your benchmark is the FTSE 250 and you want to work out your international stocks beta against the FTSE 250, we need to use the beta, the raw beta overridable mnemonic. So in FLDS, come back, have a look, and it'll tell you what you how you can actually override the beta calculation. And it'll show you the override mnemonics here. So this is how I've, I've set, it up, set it up already above. What you need to do for this is use the same function but then add the overrides. Now the setting up, you need to have a look at how Bloomberg requires the data to be in input. For example the start date, well, so it gives you an indication here, however that's not correct. If you click on the start date it'll tell you what format it wants it in, so year, month, day. So in my example, I'm using three years data here, so I've got year, month, then the day. Similarly on the, similarly, on the frequency, click on there, it'll tell you that D is for daily, W is for weekly, and so on. So in my example, I've got three years data, and I want daily. This here is the index, so in this case, this is the ticker for the FTSE 250. If you're unsure of, of tickers for index, just type it in. And there will be MX, MCX index. So on this, simply equals BD. BDP, same formula, company again, 
the new monarch, say you want the overridable bidder. I'm going to lock that. F4. So this is when you start adding your overrides. So start date. Then pick the start date value. End date. End date value. Index. Index value. Periodicity mnemonic and then finally the override value. It looks long and messy, however, press enter and it should produce the data. So there you go. Clearly there's a difference between Bloomberg's methodology and mine. And that's how you produce the the beta to your tailored requirement. Now again I can just change this, so SPX index for the S&P 500, press enter, it'll change. Or monthly data, it'll change. Obviously you can change the date accordingly. So that's how you use the beta override function in Excel. I hope you find this session useful. Thank you.